What a great day to be outside, guys. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. Woo -wee. Is that not beautiful? Look at our peppers. They're still alive and still thriving, and we don't see any freezing temps for the next seven to 10 days. Of course, that could change, but we'll see. Did you see those beautiful skies we're experiencing in the mornings? They're re it's really kind of odd, the hue that it's putting on the trees and stuff. But one thing we're seeing this year that we've not seen in a very, very long time are colors on our leaves. And it is so beautiful when you drive out here and you see the reds and the uh, oranges and the yellows. Normally we go from green to brown, but this year, praise the Lord, we are having more seasonably, look at my hair, more seasonably appropriate uh, temperatures. And I'm loving it. So we're gonna get up to about 77 degrees today. We're going to be in the 70s much of this week. We have a strong chance of rain on Wednesday and a chance of rain on Thursday and maybe some this weekend. So December is following suit, uh, the same as November. And uh, we are, we're going to have, I think, a wet month at least the first part of December, which we will take. So nice, guys. I'm starting to see some of the creeks and some of the ponds and some of the tanks fill up around here for the cattle over the winter. So thankful for that. So Greg has taken the dirt from all those tubs that the sweet potatoes were in. And uh, since we had rejuvenated it, we're going ahead and we're gonna use it in here. And you can see it's some beautiful dirt. And he's got four or five more tubs that he's gonna put right here in this spot. It's gonna fill this up, guys. And it's just looking fantastic. I can't wait to get in here and plant my seeds. I've got cauliflower, uh, cabbage, and uh, broccoli that's gonna be going in here. Now, of course, it's not gonna take up all this room, but let me show you what he found in some of those tubs. Jackpot. Now, some of them have some rodent damage, but guys, we got some pretty nice size sweet potatoes in here uh, that we will uh, can up. I still got to can up my other ones, so I'll be doing a canning video uh, with Pop probably here real soon on canning your sweet potatoes. And then these right here, we're gonna try to save out here. And this is what we'll start our sweet potatoes on next year. I have some turnips planted in an outside flower bed in front of this little high tunnel here. And then I got some carrots guys and they're coming up. You can see little hairs of them in there. I think we're gonna be okay. I have some beets in here too, but the turnips seem to be way more hardier than the beets when we get down close to freezing and a frost. So my tomatoes in here are looking pretty good considering I think that we're gonna do pretty good with these over the winter and we'll probably have some tomatoes come March, at least that's what I'm hoping. And guys, these are those purple onions <laughs> that grew all summer long. Uh, they were little bitty and I just kept transplanting them and kept transplanting them. And you can see I'm getting some beautiful purple onions in here. Seed starts are looking great. So great, can't wait to get those in the ground out there. I have some beautiful celery in here. Ooh wee. Guys, this would be great to freeze dry or to be great um, in soups, stews. I'm gonna make some spaghetti. I'm gonna use some of this. I've got quite a bit more of it over there that looks like it's doing good. Now this reseeded itself um, exactly where it was last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go this year. See those beautiful stalks in there? Now this is the Chinese celery. So it's a little bit smaller stalks, but it's flavorful and it's healthy and it's magnesium rich just the same. Some of my broccolis are starting to shoot out some little heads. Really excited about that. And these are my self-blanching cauliflowers, guys. Boy, they are getting huge and they are looking really, really great. Look at this nice cabbage head. This is in a raised bed outside, guys, so you can grow cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower outside. They are frost hardy and freeze hardy to a point. I'm really excited with how these are doing in this raised bed. 
So these are the two tubs you just saw Greg bringing in. Look at this, guys. They have continued to grow. Wow. And again, we'll save these to start our slips off of. And we highly suspect if we leave a couple of them in this high tunnel, that it's gonna, they're gonna stay very well protected and we'll be able to have slips much sooner than April. I'm hoping to have them by May, or I'm sorry, by March, where we can get them going much sooner. Look at this. These bell peppers that took so long this year to come up are really starting to prosper. I can't get over how beautiful this Shinzao bok choy is. Look at this, guys. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Got some good-looking turnips I need to pick out here. Woo-wee. So I wanted to give you guys an update, show you what you might can do with that dirt in your tubs, because we're gonna go ahead and replace it uh, for our sweet potatoes in the coming year. We don't want it to go to waste because Greg has uh, fortified it with compost and he has fortified it with the uh, mycorrhizal fungi. And so it's really good dirt and we're not gonna let it go to waste. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by and going with a tour or going on a tour with me through the high tunnels this morning and the outdoor gardens and the raised beds. See my red oak? It hadn't turned red in years because again, we go from brown or from green to brown and sometimes from brown to brown if we don't have any rain. But we're really excited about this time of year. Things are ramping up really quick. Um, again, we're enjoying this weather. Let me know what you guys are growing and if you're growing it in a protected environment, if you're growing it in a container. Be sure and let me know how your stuff is doing. Take care. God bless. We'll see you soon.